so uh, this is our apartment for this corona period <laughs> amazing no need for <clears throat> any jiu-jitsu academies anymore. Yeah, I just uh, thought on buying mats or something. <laughs> it's actually great to have, uh, but uh, it's not uh, very decorative. <laughs> we had to move our couch to the kitchen and I don't know, but uh, it's nice to be able to train somewhere. Um, I just woke up my husband here from a nap. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay, so um, from inside the close guard, um, exactly the thing that you did. So every time he tries to make an angle on me and go for something here, I have to start centering back. So I keep my hips in line with his hips. So it's something that I'm uh, like before I stand up, I have to make sure that I'm centered to him. Um, I like these grips where I have one hand in the middle and one hand in the arm. And um, like I said before, like if he has a grip in my in my collar here, and I can't break it, or I feel like if I if I try too much and I'm gonna get this balance, like uh, like you said, then sometimes I can take this arm over his arm, and then I take the other arm to stand up. Um, so what, what I need from this is that he can't uh, use this to, to pull me on top of him when I try to stand up. So this other arm has to be facing into him so, so that uh, when I stand up, he can't pull me on top of him. Um, but if I can, this is a lot better. Yeah. Um, I always stand up with the foot on the same side as I have the arm. So it's going to be harder for him to try to sweep me. Yeah. Um, and I like to do this, this sort of thing when I stand up and I grab the arm and I push to, uh, to start passing. But I also do a lot, especially on all of the girls when it's close guard and they're very fast to start like spinning, like starting to take advantage of me standing up. Um, I do a lot that I stand up and I get one leg in the middle and then I sit down. So I get this knee in the center. Yeah. Um, Usually when I do this, then they start pushing me away a lot. So when I get this knee inside, I have to grab onto him and really pull myself close. So either in the jacket or, or in the pant here, and I'm trying to get this knee over the thigh. So I come into this position that, that you were in in the fight. Yeah. Um, so here in these kinds of positions, I'm trying to um, like, I think it's hard to, to pass with pressure if I have both knees on the floor. So this knee, I have to staple into the floor across his thigh so he can push me back into these triangles and things. But this other foot, I'm gonna try to stand up with. And then this arm, it has to be either in the jacket here, in an underhook or underneath the leg or some, something that's centering me here so he can start uh, doing these things that she, was starting to crawl up on your back from this position. So either I hold here or the underhook, or like if I can uh, get all the way to the head on this side with this arm, then it's gonna be easier also to start putting pressure all the way over here. Yeah, the cross but, uh, Yeah, so, um, sorry. So from here, I try to get like, the underhook and the cross face would be the perfect situation yep. um, and if I can get here then I'm trying to step out with this leg yep. before I remove this leg that's on the uh, on top of his leg but I think for all kinds of different passes then this position here or this position here is like it's a really strong passing position so if I can get all the way here from inside the close guard, then it's going to be uh, like it's it's a good position if I can just hold him down to the floor. So I think the the first sequence is a really nice one. 
also from this position, I can, if I prefer the knee slide, I can, with this uh, hand blocking so he can't unhook me, I can change this leg so I can get, go to the knee slide still. Um, if I think it's easier, or if it's more available to pass to this side. Yeah, but in that case, I need the underhook definitely, yeah. right? Yes. Or at least he can't have the underhook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> in a lot of the knee slides, if I can have uh, uh, the grip in the collar here, or some people grab like in the armpit, and I can keep control of this arm so I keep flattening him out, then it's not, um, it's not super necessary for me to have the underhook, but yeah. he can have the underhook. So if yeah. I do something here that that's makes it available for him to underhook me and start going from my back, then it's going to be a problem. But this this grip here, flattening him out or pushing him down, is also fine. Like doesn't have to be this uh, um, this typical underhook thing that I have to stop his underhook. So those are the things I'm trying to do from inside the close guard, but it's uh, um, it's it's so much like uh, I think one of the hardest things to do is to uh, like to time this um, to get the timing when I've been breaking his controls to start to stand up immediately because if I if I break his controls and I stay here, then it's open for him to, to just start grabbing back again. So I need to be, I need to be ready to stand up and I need to keep it in my head that standing up is the, the thing I have to do. So as soon as I'm out here, I'm already starting to do this. Yeah. 